What is going on YouTube? Welcome back finally to another video here on Cellmed. It's been about almost a year and a half since I posted my last video last December um, talking about my experience um, through my first semester of medical school. Well, lo and behold, now it is my final preclinical semester of medical school. Uh, it's spring semester, second year. Currently, we're going through our systems and I just wanted to give an update uh, about just how medical school is going, things I've learned along the way as well as discuss things that um, I've learned throughout this journey, um, starting from my first year to now coming to an end to my second year of medical school. So the first thing that I wanted to give an update or kind of talk about was things that I've kind of learned as I've gone through medical school. and kind of compare and contrast the difference between first year and second year. Um, so at my school, the way that things are structured is first you start off with anatomy and the basic sciences, so usually uh, microbiology, physiology, and biochemistry. And that's what you take the first semester. And those are like all foundational things that kind of take you into your spring semester, um, which again, you take some more foundational classes such as pharmacology, pathology. And then after that, the end of your first year, as well as your entire second year, is broken down into systems. So for example, you study the musculoskeletal system, cardiovascular system, the GI system. So every bodily system is broken down into its own specific course, and then you focus on the pharmacology, biochemistry, the pathology for that specific body system. So compared to first year, um, when taking your anatomy courses versus taking systems, one thing that I've kind of learned is I've been able to kind of pick up on things that are um, quote unquote high yield or things that I think will be more important that will show up on exams. Um, and that just comes with experience, I think, that as you listen to lectures and as you listen to you know your professor speaking and whatever the case may be, that uh, you kind of adapt and learn to realize what's important. So that's one thing that I've realized that I've been able to do more effectively compared to first year. Um, number two is I've been incorporating more board resources into my studying. That's something that I wasn't doing as much my first year. And second year, one thing that you'll notice is there's boards always looming over your head. That as you're going through the courses, you may finish an exam or get like a winter break, whatever the case may be. But at the back of your head, you're always thinking, oh, I should be preparing for boards or doing something. So that's constantly kind of like gnawing away at you. And to kind of, um, I guess, study for boards while also study for your classes is to be able to use these board resources such as Pathoma, boards and beyond, um, sketchy, utilizing these to not only you know study for your boards and focus on what's high yield, but you also use these materials to also study for your classes as well. So that's another thing that I've been incorporating uh, this year as well, which I think have also improved my grades, something that I kind of wish I had started earlier on last year. And one thing that I would also recommend people start doing more often is sticking with your Anki. And I've made a whole video on this, on using Anki, and then um, you know I've also recently started using Anking, which is a whole other deck which is a whole other separate video and you know there are other people that focus on this so I don't want to get into that but if you want to look up how to use Anking um, go ahead and just look it up on YouTube and how to use Anking effectively in medical school. So these are just some small things that I wanted to discuss on things that I found the difference in what I did to improve myself from the first year to the second year of medical school and these are things that helped me not only improve my grades but I also found that I have more time in my day. Um, I found that you know I've been able to um, kind of optimize my time as opposed to just passively reading through notes or you know going through PowerPoint slides over and over and over again which was you know it was effective but it wasn't it wasn't optimal um, if, for lack of a better term. So those are just some things that I want to discuss on how medical school things that I've kind of adapted to starting from my first year to now my second year. So medical school in general I found that compared to first year at least was that you become, as one of my friends told me, who's um, one year above me, is that you become a well-oiled machine, that you, you become very used to taking three-hour exams every week, or at least in my school we have exam, at least one exam every week. So you become very um, adapted to taking three-hour long exams. You become adapted to studying you know, 12, 13 hours a day, um, you know, even more on the weekends, um, and I'm also including class time. So um, you know, your body just gets used to putting in all that hard work and eventually it just becomes second nature. And I guess going back to the first kind of topic is comparing first year to second year, is that first year I would find myself so drained and I would find myself so tired um, you know, after long days of studying and now your body is just so used to it, it's like second nature, you just come home, you go to the gym, you come back and you just study for the rest of the night. And as I said, your body just gets so adapted and becomes such a well-oiled machine that 
that studying that you're doing becomes more and more and more effective as you go throughout your journey through medical school. Um, so if anyone's personally, you know, your first year or you're starting medical school and you find yourself that you're struggling, that it does get better because you become better. You become better in answering test questions. You become, uh, you know, as you do more of test questions, that you become better in recognizing what's important, what are the key points, especially on test questions that have those long paragraph stems that tell you everything about the patient. You can pick out details that you need to focus on. And as I said, that that becomes better as you go, as you go through the process. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was that um, you know things that I've seen myself get better at and just in medical school in general that I've seen people kind of adapt to is prioritizing things that they want to do to uh, you know factor in their well-being for example um, I started recently training in Brazilian jiu-jitsu and um, you know obviously like you don't have time for everything I can't go to the gym and I can't play basketball and I can't do BJJ and I can't you know play video games at night so people kind of pick and choose of what they want to prioritize. I have friends that like to do art, or I have friends that like to cook, or I have, I have friends, and that's that. That's their form of, you know, um, kind of de-stressing and kind of, you know, getting away from the books and the school for, and the school studies for, for a couple hours. So personally, um, the advice that I'll give is that, you know, every person should find that one niche thing that they want to focus on, and or that they enjoy doing, and use that as a de-stressor. That when you do that thing, don't focus on school. Don't focus on you know that next upcoming exam just focus on that thing that you're currently doing for example whether it's bjj or whether it's playing video games or it's drawing cooking just focus on that because that's your time to de-stress and get away from the books and the studies um, and then i'd also say that when you're studying for example is focus on your studies don't think about you know what you're going to do at bjj that night what you're going to be doing you know in, in in your drawing or whatever the case may be so with that i just wanted to end this uh, short video just wanted to give you guys a quick update it's been a while since i last uploaded my video so just wanted to give a quick update of um, what's been happening um, so with that you know don't forget to subscribe I'll try and upload as often as I can obviously it becomes hard in medical school but I made a goal to at least try and upload uh, once maybe every two weeks or once a week even if it's a short video just a short reminder and this video as I said just talk, talking about um, things I've learned uh, as I've gone through medical school and things that I've noticed that have helped me and helped others around me so just wanted to discuss that and if you have any questions please put them down in the comments make sure to subscribe and i'll see you hopefully soon in the next video